Unity Review Week continues. Today we're looking at a brand new power supply from Unity, the UTP-1306S. Stay tuned. The UTP-1306S is a 110-220 volt switchable DC power supply. Now you do have a four digit LED display in both the voltage and in the amps. Voltage is red, the amps or current is green. The other nice thing about this DC power supply is the fact that it has a very nice solid tactile feel. Um, definitely weighs a couple of pounds and when you are turning those uh, knobs you have a lot of precision and it's kind of important especially if you're going to be using this in the lab it's really nice to have this very finite control over your voltage. One of the nice features that you're seeing on this and uh, other power supplies coming out as of late is that on off output switch. Basically what that means is when you turn your power supply on, you may not be ready for actual testing. So in order to avoid damage to components, electrical devices, whatever it is that you're testing, you have this nice on off. And if we can see right now, we are in the off position because the uh, switch is not illuminated. Now, as soon as we turn that on, Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, 22 volts, easy as pie. So it's that extra modicum of protection, another layer you have just in case. I like it. Hey, we've got some pretty good news to report. Uh, no, my mother-in-law's passport did not expire. No, instead the jacks that come with this unit are actually pretty good. They're fairly long, probably about three and a half feet but they are a nice size gauge, quite supple, and the banana jacks at the end are really, really nice. In terms of the overall fit into the unit itself, no worries here. Once you plug them in, no plug and pray, strictly plug and play. Yeah. Here you notice we see the M1, M2, and M3. These are the storage or recall buttons. Basically a short press, indicates that it's on and in order to recall the stored value you long press until the indicator is on so for instance we hit the m1 and i have previously set that to one volt exact one volt exactly and as you can see there we go hit it again two and that was a previous setting of 10 volts then if we hit it to three once again, that was preset at 30 volts. So it's nice to have the storage recognition where you can have instant access, AKA gratification for previous settings that you wanna use again. Let's take a look at that DC accuracy right now. We are sitting at 30.00 volts according to the Unity. And on the 181A, we're looking at 30.021 volts. On the Fluke 83, 30.0. One. So very, very close and well within spec. Now let's just take this down a notch, bring it down to 20 volts. And we're showing us 20.01, 20.01, higher resolution, of course, on the unity meter. Let's bring it down to five volts even. 5.01, 5.01, and 5.00. And actually now the Unity is a green, so we're looking at 5.00 for the 181A as well. Taking it down to half a volt, 0 0.508, 5 0.08, and 5.0 on the UTP1306S. So in terms of accuracy, I don't see any problems with the Unity. Power supply itself is quite small. It's around 23 centimeters long and around six or seven centimeters wide. So it will not take up a lot of real estate on your now desk. If you want to compare it to your sort of atypical DC power supply, here you go. You can definitely see that it has a much smaller footprint, literally half the size of this standard DC power supply here on the left. And once again, if we take a look at the back, the UTP1306, S on the left is literally half the size. 
Now I think a big bonus for the UTP1306S is the resolution and the light emitting diode display. Definitely clear, crisp, and uh, really, really easy on the eyes. And uh, that extra resolution, it never hurts. Right now we're sitting at around 6.1 amps. And a really nice thing about this Unity is the fact that it is pretty near silent. Can you hear anything right now? The fan has just kicked in. Pulling six amps right now. So once again, this is a quite an audible power supply. Now once, once again, this does have the overcurrent and over voltage protection built in. So we're still pulling that six amp load. You can probably hear that fan getting a little bit louder. been at the six amps now for about 10 minutes and uh, the fan is pretty well as loud as it's going to get so it's quite bearable and uh, definitely not obtrusive so it doesn't sound like a screaming plane on final approach which is probably a good thing so you can see it's a fairly small unit in size and really not a whole lot of space is being utilized here we have a fairly small PCB, they've left nothing in excess here. Up at the top left we have the on off rocker switch and you can see as we follow that down it brings us to the ground as well as the positive and negative terminals over here. Once you turn that unit on it goes over to the P1 input below that PCB it carries on forward into the high voltage side of the board. Here we have a uh, fairly decent looking transformer and a couple of big caps. Big Wapen 400 volt, 150 microfarad electrolytic right up against the heatsink. We have that nice big IRFP250M channel power MOSFET. Take a look at the secondary side. We have a couple of switch mode power rectifiers over here on the side of the heatsink. Over here, we've got the secondary transformer. Taking a front panel display over at the top here, we have the TM1638. This is the eight digit seven segment, beautiful, or shall I say gorgeous LED display driver IC. That is what is giving us all that LED goodness from the front panel. And moving down a tiny bit over here, we have the N76E003. You got it, it's a high precision 20 pin, 12 bit, eight channel ADC. All in all, looks really good, really clean. I don't see any flux anywhere. This thing is spotless. UDT did a really good job when they put this guy together. And if we take a look at those input jacks themselves, those are really nicely done in there, nice and solid with a screw and nut. They are definitely not going anywhere. Here we have the small current shunt. All in all, a really nice, clean, clear, concise PCB, both on the voltage side and on the display driver side. If we take a look at that version date, we have a version 2.33, fab date of September 1st, 2018. Overall fit and finish on this unit is quite good. The only faux pas slash mistake I see is the uh, heat sink here. They obviously, uh, Put in a pre-drill hole in the wrong location. Generally speaking, the soldering, fit, and finish of all the components, the gauges of the wire, and the connectivity in terms of the actual PCB and the components on board looks to be really, really good. Now in terms of cooling, we have one solitary fan. Let's just take a closer look at that. It's a uh, MR62524SH. This is a brushless fan, very quiet, and DC 12 volts, 0.15 amps. So that is 
all you have in terms of keeping the entire unit nice and cool. That being said, it is small in diameter, but uh, relatively quiet until you really get a bit of a load going on. But generally speaking, it's quite, quite acceptable. Okay, I'm going to put everything back together and come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Unity UTP 1306S DC power supply. Hey, this is a really good power supply. My only gripe with it is the fact that I think it is slightly on the expensive side. It's retailing around 120, 130 bucks. And uh, yeah, that can be a little bit pricey for some people. It'd be nice to see it break that $100 range, but I'm only saying. That being said, build quality is quite good. Has a nice small footprint. Accuracy wise, it seems to be spot on and generally it's a really decent supply for the lab or the workbench. I'm going to give the Unity UTP 1306S a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Hope you're enjoying this Unity review week. We've got one more Unity review coming up. Stay tuned. Don't forget we're having the live chat this coming Sunday starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. You can win a brand new Unity Multimeter courtesy of Mr. Tools and Jerry. Hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next time, you got it. Keep on testing.